Let's look at Deoldify. You've almost certainly seen the effects of this algorithm on the internet. If you look at some of the videos, like this one that I'm showing you, just a brief clip here, shows you Paris in the early 20th century. It is like a time machine. This is stunning. And I have a link to the full-length video here um, of, of this Paris rendering. I highly suggest you take a look at it. It's the closest thing that you'll probably get to time travel here, at least in the near future. But let's look at Deoldify. That's running it on a video. We're going to run it on images. And you could take old photographs. And I'm somewhat old. I'm a child of the, of the 80s. So I've got some old photos that I want to see how well it can Deoldify. So we'll look at that in a moment. But here, we'll go ahead and install Deoldify. It is, you have a link to the repository there, and this simply installs it. Then we install it from the requirements, and I do suggest you run this in Colab because it does require a GPU. The fact that you can run this right here actually in the Python means that you can use this in longer automated programs. And it's certainly the basis probably of how they've created programs to actually do this in NVIDIA. So you have to initialize the Torch device, which will be your CPU or GPU. GPU is highly recommended, but this does appear to run on a CPU. I haven't tried it a lot on the CPU, nor have I tried this on Apple. Uh, it, it might work on Apple. I have simply not, not tried it. So here we're going to run it. And we are going to take in an image, run it through all of this, which is essentially, it's, it's pretty simple. Most of it's self-contained in, into here. We're turning off the warnings. We're getting the colorizer. And we are going to transform the, the image. Here is an image. This is from my childhood home in St. Louis, Missouri. My, my first dog, Scooby the Schnauzer, right here. No longer with us, quite sadly. He crossed the Rainbow Bridge uh, when I was when I was much much younger. So he he's he's been gone for a while. That's a little uh, fire engine truck. So I was really really young when this photo was taken. I do not remember this photo being taken, but you can see time has not been friendly on it. These images do turn to turn more yellow as they as they age. I bet back in the mid-1970s when this picture was taken, I bet it was a lot more colorful than this. It was taken on a, an old Kodak camera that my mom used for, used for all kinds of things. But this is the deoldified version, and you can certainly see now the, the colors are certainly better. I do remember this picnic bitch. It was fairly bright red, so... It kind of lost that, actually, and that fire engine toy obviously was red. So these do tend to work a lot better when you don't know the actual colors. But at, at first glance, I mean, it has certainly, certainly improved this considerably. The grass, the grass is green. And I remember, I remember my dad frequently battling with the lawn trying to, to get uh, the grass growing even lame. <laughs> now... I'm pretty much there myself with the current house that, that I live in. So it certainly restored a lot. Certainly, this looks like a better image than the others. The dog's tones are, are also red. So it figured out some of the reds, but certainly not all of them. If you want to play around with this technology, it's quite easy to make use of this notebook. And you can certainly do that. There's other online sites that you can log into, and they will run Deoldify for you. So thank you for watching this video. If this was useful, please give me, give me a like. All the descriptions and links are down in the description to this video. And subscribe so that you can follow along with future projects of mine and more information on this course as I release additional topics on generative AI and PyTorch.